today we're gonna do some maintenance jobs. We're going fishing! You got one? Woo! My name is Billy, this is Sierra, and our pup Jetty. This is our home. Her name is Adrenaline. We decided normal lifestyle isn't quite right for us, so we've been living an unconventional but fulfilling life of challenge and adventure. Be sure to subscribe below and hop on board. Well, hello there. Today, we're gonna do some maintenance jobs because tomorrow we're gonna sail and we haven't sailed in a while. So I'm going to clean the bottom, Billy's going to grease the propellers, and then we have a few more things to do tomorrow before we leave. Today's tools include scotch Bright pad for the algae, scrapers for the barnacles, mask, pins, wetsuit, and what are you using to grease? Uh, it's on the step over there, just the grease gun that came with our Max Props. We got them a couple years ago. Just a regular grease gun with a regular grease fitting, so I gotta take the Allen key out and then just screw in the grease fitting and then just pump some grease into there and still until it starts to ooze out the cracks. And then that's it, take the grease fitting out, put the Allen key fitting back in there, and we're done. How often are you supposed to grease props? I don't know. They seem to be getting just a little stiff and it's just about a year, so. I think that's a long time, like probably every six months to a year is uh, safe to say. First order of business this morning was to take care of Jetty's business. Check. Now Billy is doing the dishes because we don't like to sail with a dirty boat. I love doing the dishes so much. Billy will do absolutely anything not to have to do the dishes, but yesterday I made him breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so he has to. Now we get to clean up all of this mess. And raise the dinghy. Let's find out. Nothing. 
I have to say, you are an impeccable dish stecker. You're just saying that so I do it again. Yeah, maybe, but it's true. We have to just unzip the Mac pack, attach our mainsail halyard, and we're gonna pull the lazy jacks in so they don't interfere with raising the mainsail and don't chafe on the mainsail when it's up. And uh, we're also gonna take in our shade back here so that the main sheet can travel back and forth without ripping our our shade. I haven't tightened the battens on this sail in a while. I'm gonna uh, just tighten the battens, just get them a little more snug. How often should you do that? Uh, just when you can kind of see little wrinkles, by you know, in the areas of the batten pocket. So once you start to see that, you can just tighten them up a little bit. But um, you know, probably once a year, six months to a year or something. So more fun maintenance on a boat. Um, you wanna help me get that shade? In? fiberglass batten in here and when I tighten the Allen key here it just pushes the batten out and just tightens the whole uh, batten pocket and that area of the sail. This one's pretty tight already. What is the best part about today's sail? Going downwind. And something you don't have to do. It's probably one of the hardest parts about our boat. Oh, lift the anchor. <laughs> uh, mooring, so we don't have to pull the anchor by hand because our anchor chains doesn't quite fit in our windlass super good. So uh, the chain's just not spec. I told you guys that before, but the chain's not spec for our windlass, so it skips. So we're going to get a new chain probably in St. Martin. But here on Food Island, there are three moorings, and so we are attached to one. So all we have to do is detach we're ready to go so typically our one engine that's working right now all i do is pull the cap off and check the coolant we're topped off there just make sure our coolant level is up so we don't overheat and then i pull the dipstick out and just check our oil level it's a little black but it's getting ready to change this oil but we're good we're about right in the middle of where we should be it's not white or milky which would indicate water in the in the oil check belt tension belt tension's good you just check transmission fluid or, or gear case fluid um but that's sealed up that should always be good um that's about it can you do the oil and the coolant every time we are about to turn on the engine yes every single time anything else just kind of inspect everything look for you know look for fluids under the engine. I mean, we just have a little bit of, of bilge water down there, tiny, tiny bit, but you can look for oil down there or coolant down there, something that would indicate a problem. And uh, that's about it. So you're ready to turn the button, to turn the key? Let's do it. are we going? Um, I don't know. My phone's in there. My map is charging. Going pretty good though. How far we got? Uh, probably about 12 miles left or something. Beautiful sail. Broad reaching. Some little squalls around and uh, yeah, we're probably, before we're going really fast, we're easily getting into nine knots and a little above. Um, right now we're probably going like six or something. Beautiful day of downwind sailing yet again.
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, that's a pretty nice shirt you got there. Thanks, I got in the Tula shop. We have arrived back in Jolly. Now we just get to pick our anchoring spot for the night. Was that a good sail? Yeah, beautiful. Just downwind the whole way. Couldn't have gone anymore. Oh. <laughs> Not there yet. Do we need to go this far? Tonight, we are going on an adventure. What kind of adventure are we going on? We're going fishing! We are going tarpon fishing because we have been seeing tons of them lately and we need to go catch ourselves one. Are you ready? I think so. What kind of lure are we gonna use? Um, well, I think they've been eating shrimp out there. So I think we're gonna start off with some little shrimp lure, lures and then, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So it is nighttime and the tarpon are attracted to the light. So that is going to be our key for success. And they're jumping already. And whoa. definitely happened before. If you were a tarpon, would you want to eat this shrimp or this shrimp? I'm going to go with the smaller one, but I think these are going to be our best three options tonight. Let's see if they're going to be lucky. Which of these do you want? I'll try this one first. Okay, so Billy's going with that shrimp. I'll Question that. for you guys. Who do you think is going to catch one or more? Or the bigger one. Disclaimer, Billy did catch one the other night and I did not, but it's a new day or it's a new night. Tell us in the comments who you think is gonna win. Well, they're all gonna side with you again. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe, people. Anything to add? Um, what lure would you use? I always make Billy check my knots, so just in case something comes untied, it's not just my fault because he tested it. <laughs> Good? Yeah. We have our DOA shrimp attached to about 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Let us know if that's too big or too small. And then it's got a little swivel attached to our normal line. And then we have our little poles with our Shimano reels. This pole, fun fact, my dad found in the water while he was snorkeling and it's been on the boat ever since. Are you gonna catch a fish?
Sarah's going to drift out into the dark in the dinghy so that she's able to cast right here under the light. Jetty's mad you left her. What about under that light right there? You think it would fit under? Yeah, it's like Whoa. Made it. How are we doing so far? But we're having fun. Turned out the best fishing spot is right under our boat. You got one? Yeah. Woo! You went under our line. Whoa, what's that one doing? Whoa! Oh, oh no! What happened? The breaker, he spit it. Spit it. Good job. <laughs> 